Hey y'all, it's your girl Vincier, aka Courtney, and I'm back with another assembly. Y'all know the rules. Like, share, and subscribe to see more of this, or even if you just enjoyed this video. <laughs> Today we got the Alex that's lag captain, you know, assembly. So it can be made in multiple variations, one with legs, and we're making the two with two drawers on each side. So just bear with me as we make this version of the model. I do want you to note if you have the legs or the wheels, it's not very complicated to do, so don't worry about it. Right now, I'm making sure I have all the holes aligned up just like the picture shows, making sure all my drawers slide out the correct way, Make sure I just have it in the right direction for the next step. We're doing two of them, so I have four panels right now that I'm working with. We're going to use these screws right here with the little gray piece around it. They don't screw in all the way. They poke out quite enough. It takes three on each piece around the edge. It's going to be one on the outside, one in the middle, and one at the top just like I have here. You're going to do that to your two drawers if you only have, well, your two side panels if you only have um, the two, or you're going to do it four times, depending on if you have the one with two cabinets. Now I'm going to take my wooden dowels, and those are going to go on the side of the panels we just worked with. It's going to be two on each side, so I'm going to put those here. Just like that you see one right there one right there you still have three holes open and available and I'm also going to flip it over to the other side and add two more of course I'm going to go ahead and do that to all four of my panels and on to the next step we go this next piece you want to grab this half a rectangle, half square, however you want to call it, it has six little holes on it. That is just going to connect these two panels together. This is going to be the back of the cabinet. They both get two wooden dowels on the side. On each side, that is. Set that one to the side. Go ahead and knock out the other one. Now I'm going to take one of my panels. You see I have the holes and the screws facing at the bottom. They are closer to the floor. And I'm going to take my piece with the six holes in them. And that is what I'm going to use to attach it. It was perfectly fine the way I had it. I'm just trying to put it in a good position so you all can see what's going on but whatever way is easy for you to do it without you wearing the furniture it's recommended most likely flat <laughs> um so once you got that in there pushing in a little bit make sure your screws line up and everything's in there yep just like that we're going to go ahead and add the other side on there same exact way, the screws go at the bottom. Make sure your drawers and everything are facing. Cheese, just like that. <laughs> um, you do wanna make sure that the railings are spaced out and aligned properly because the bottom of the cabinet has the thicker drawers and the top of the cabinet has the thinner one. So the first gap you see should be two thin rails with a little thin space, and then the other one should be equally spread apart. So just make sure that your two um, panels are facing the right direction. Now we're gonna take our flathead cam locks and we're gonna put them in the circle. We have one with a positive plus sign on it. We do not want that one. You, we're using the one with the negative. I'm gonna take six of those, screw those in, and there you have it, just like this. Now, we're gonna put the other piece together, because I have two cabinets. 
boom now we're working with this piece right here as you can see it has holes on both sides make sure you pay attention to the side we are working with this is very important factor <laughs> now we're working with another piece as well this is both required in a step this is actually the bottom that i just set down we're going to get our cam screws and we're going to screw those in slightly it gets six on each panel two on the edge one in the middle one on the outside you know like we did before you should have four holes open or along the perimeter go ahead and do that to the other one same thing they just have different holes So once we have that step complete, we're gonna go back to our cabinet we was working with. And you see how there's the openings down there and the wooden dowels, that's what these pieces are gonna to connect to. So on the spot where you see the small space with the drawers, that is the side you want to put the piece I'm working on now right there. That is going to hold the top of the desk together, where them four circles are that you see. Those get held on with the negative sign. Cam locks as well. We go ahead and screw those in, the six of them. Then we're going to go ahead and grab our other end, which is the bottom. And we're going to turn that around. And it's going to go in there just like that. Align the cam screws with the opening for the cam lock. My next couple minutes of the video, they aren't that great because you can't see everything. I thought you could, but hey, um, I apologize. <laughs> Let me know if you need any extra instructions in the comments and I'll respond to you at a timely manner. So I went ahead and go ahead and screwed those in. And now I'm working with my second cabinet, just repeating those steps all over again. Oof. Now we're gonna take our plastic black pieces, basically the little, little feet, the little tiny feet. This side with the squares, well, with those holes right there I'm showing you is the top. So we're not working on that side. We're going to put these little black legs on the part where it has nothing. Ironic, right? <laughs> Why wouldn't that be the top? But hey, okay. you're going to go ahead and put those plastic black legs on each of the corners. And I'm going to go ahead and do it to my other cabinet as well. Oh, look, here's the full view. We're back on the right track. So now that we got our legs on there, this is how it looks. I went ahead and I put it where, up against the wall where it's gonna go. I did attach the top of the desk. I thought I was recording guys, but I wasn't. But you should be able to manage this, no problem. Those screws right there, you, you screw them with the alley key that they gave you. And you might have to just move the cabinet, play with the top of the desk a little bit. That way it's straight because if it's not straight, you won't be able to just know where them screws go. You won't be able to screw them in. So it has to be evenly aligned. Move the cabinet around, move the table around till it's perfect. I gave you a little view of how it may look. And if you got the one with the legs, you just put the legs on there. You just screw them in and do everything the opposite. So now we're gonna work on the drawers. We have a thick drawer, we have a thin drawer. The thick drawer gets two of these screws right here with the gray. And the thin one just gets one. The hole below it is for a wooden dowel, which we will put on the side of our drawer pieces in the future. Right now, I'll just show you how it works. <laughs> Ooh. All right, so now let's drill in those cam screws. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, just like that. 
just like that. <laughs> I'm burned out, y'all. Now, we're going to take the side of our drawer. One has small holes. One end has the big holes. We're working on the end with the big holes. And you see this line right here? That's what holds the bottom of our drawer that holds all our clothing, our items, accessories, whatever you're going to be putting in there. So, and those big holes, they face the outside. Because you want that line to align with the top of the, the front of the drawer line, you know? All the lines add up. You're going to go ahead and push that down like that. And you see those cam locks in the circle. Do the same thing to the other side. Oh, if you run into that problem, that means it just goes on another piece. Simple. Just like that. You're going to use all those pieces. And you're going to put them on the drawers like that. Our drawer is coming together. We're going to take the smaller cam locks, the one with the positive sign. Should be the only ones left. They're actually metal. They're not made of plastic like the other ones. So we're going to go ahead and pop those in there, screw those in there. Right, look at them now. How did she do it? <laughs> thank you, thank you. Screw those in there just like that. Boom. Go ahead and do the same thing to the other side. Yep, just like that. Boom. Now we're going to get the flat little flimsy piece that I said holds everything. It has them little corners right there. Those little corners right there are going to go facing the top. So we're just going to slide that in there. Make sure your brown piece is facing the bottom and the white piece is in the inside. Just like that. Boom. And we're going to repeat this step so we don't get far behind on the rest of our drawers. Just like that. Tighten them all up. And I put my flimsy piece in there. Now we're going to work on the thin ones. The thin ones, same difference. Only slight changes. We have to add that wooden dowel. So now we're going to take each of the thin side of the drawers for the thin drawers. I'm going to go ahead and grab our wooden dowels. And you're going to go ahead and place one wooden dowel at the e at the end of each side panel. See where the hole is? It doesn't go right there. It goes on the one just with the hole by itself. You're going to repeat that step for all the sides. And just like we did with the thick one, we're going to do with the thin. Make sure that line aligns with the drawer. Just like that. One cam lock shown on one side. Just like that. I'm going to repeat that step until all the panels are used. Just like that. Slide in our little thin piece. After we tighten them up, make sure the opening goes at the top. White side in the inside, brown side on the outside. Just like that. Now that we got all that together, we're going to add the back of the drawer. We have a thin one and a wide one. The thin one goes with the thin drawer, the wide one wouldn't. Now, this little line is going to align with all the other lines, correct? <laughs> so it's going to go there just like this. It's going to rest there. The little gap that you see, you might have to fibble around with it, push it in there. But you don't want to bang the plastic piece screws in there with your hammer unless it's sitting properly in the back of the drawer. You can crack your wood at this piece. I don't recommend using a hammer 
But if you have a hammer and that's all you have, then use it. Just tap lightly because we're not trying to break a brick. You know what I'm saying? You just want to tap on it gently. Just like that. I'm going to invest in me a rubber mallet soon or later. So I have the proper tool to do this step. We're going to do that side, and then we're going to go ahead and do the other. As you see, my drawer did not come out of place one time. I'm holding it together as I'm banging them. I'm going to repeat this step for the remainder of the thin drawers. I'm also going to do the thick drawers because they are done the exact same way. Look, let me show you. I slowed it down a little bit just so you can do me see me doing the thick one. It works the same. Just make sure the little slit is aligned in the back and it should attach just fine. Now that we have our drawers together, it's time to put them inside the desk. We're going to be using these two tiny little screws right here. Should be the only screws available left. <laughs> and we're going to pull out the sides of the drawer from the desk. The railing. We're going to pull out the railing. Once you pull out the railing, the little gap that's on the side of your drawers are going to go right there. So you're going to align the rail with the little gap. Note that the thicker drawers go at the bottom and the two thin drawers go at the top. It will be a little tough to push through, but don't worry. As long as them rails are aligned, it won't break. Push it through like that. Pull it out. And now we're going to take our two little screws just like this. I'm showing you a close-up. The screw goes in the inside, and you're just going to screw it. You're going to hold the rail close to the panel so it catches on to the lock. And you should have it tightened and screwed together. Now your drawer is stable, and it can move in and out. You do want to test it to just to make sure. And you're going to repeat that step with two more thick drawers and two little drawers at the top. Don't get confused if you got another cabinet on the other side. And make sure you always test out your drawers. And here's another angle from me doing it. I pushed it in, the rails aligned. And if they don't go all the way to the tip of the drawer, then you might have to just move the rail in some with your hand manually. No harm done here. See, one more time. Put the rail inside the little gap. See, it's in the gap. Push it in real slow. Add some force. Boom. Pull it out. See how the rail is connected? Now, you just want to screw it in there and actually make it attach. Boom. Other side boom and test the drawer there you go repeat those steps for the remaining of the desk push it in pull it out tighten it up so I'm gonna go ahead and finish out the rest of my drawers and if you like this video, be sure to like, subscribe, and share. Leave a comment if it helped you. Leave a comment if it didn't. You know what I'm saying? We're going to finish out our last two drawers. And there you'll have an Alex leg packing desk. <laughs> I'm very hard at saying that word. But there you have it. Enjoy.